Road closures are in place for Starship testing next week. Elon responds to Blue Origin's bid protest. Inspiration 4 returns to Earth. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. We've got several things to go over today. But first, a word from our sponsor. So listen up, guys. If your wife is the one that does the grocery shopping in your home, or maybe for some of you, it's your mom, you may not realize how expensive food is getting. I know because I'm the one that does the shopping in our household. The lawyer wife makes me in exchange for a living here. Food prices are on the rise. They have been for months, and they won't be slowing down anytime soon, according to experts. And it's not only due to shortages like supplies and labor and transportation, but also bottlenecks and weather as well. However, inflation is the frosting on this fecal flavored cake. I've been trying to tell you for a couple months now, invest in an emergency food kit from my Patriot Supply. Even a four week kit will provide you and your family a little peace of mind during these uncertain times. Easy to prepare meals from my Patriot Supply contain over 2000 calories per day and have a 25 year shelf life. Use my link, preparewithspace.com, in the description below and see what deals they're currently running. That's preparewithspace.com. Don't be scarred, be secured. According to Highway 4 closures in Boca Chica, it appears SpaceX is ready to begin testing Starship 20 early next week. This morning, their thrust simulator was transported to test stand B, where SN20 sits. In the meantime, engineers have been hard at work preparing the orbital launch site for booster testing introducing cryoliquids to the tank farm and running it through the pipes for the first time. New pipage was also added to the orbital launch mount. And on Thursday, the quick disconnect arm's claw was hooked into place, which will help stabilize a fully stacked Starship Super Heavy on the pad. Enjoy some of the roadside views while we got them, people. The Brownsville Herald reported this week that Cameron County is looking to place no parking signs in the area to deal with congestion issues along the roadway. Always remember to show your support for all the local photographers and their efforts to bring us daily shots. The next Starship Super Heavy rocket is about halfway complete. SN21 pretty much has all of its parts built on site, including the forward flaps with heat shield tiles installed. And now the upper stage really just needs to be stacked. And its booster, BN5, is in the high bay. Put a notch on the door post, she's a lot taller than she was last week. Elon is still telling us these boosters will eventually have 33 engines which would leave the rocket three shy of the answer to the ultimate question. I think there's room on board for a few more wrap backs. Could be risky though. And of course it would throw off all the specs requiring more time, effort, and money for something that may not be beneficial. You're right, it's, it's weird. No, wait, do it. <laughs> Raptor needs to be 10 times cheaper to make, which would require big enough changes to the engine to warrant a new name for it. What really matters is not yet another so-called advanced rocket engine, as there are many such devices, but there has never been a cheap yet efficiently powerful rocket engine. Not even close. A redacted version of Blue Origin's bid protest against NASA for their human landing system decision has been released. This HLS contract awarded SpaceX with almost $3 billion earlier this year for their Starship Lunar Lander, but payments have been put back on hold until this suit is resolved. Just one of the arguments being made from what we can read is that the company is accusing SpaceX of not performing or planning to perform flight readiness reviews prior to Starship launches because of waivers granted by NASA. And therefore, according to Blue Origin, their initial proposal was unawardable. Which Elon and SpaceX is calling baloney. We always do flight readiness reviews. This argument makes no sense. It does read like NASA went out of their way to ask SpaceX to modify their proposal so the agency could afford it, but that's because SpaceX was their first choice anyway, so we'll see how this plays out in court. One of the many things Blue Origin seeks to remedy the situation is payment for all their attorney fees, which Elon says would break the NASA budget. You heard it guys, Jif is trying to bankrupt the US government. To be fair, not the worst idea. In last week's episode, we were able to squeeze in the breaking news that the FAA released their draft environmental assessment surrounding the Starship program's impact on Boca Chica. And shortly after, Elon took to Twitter to ask you guys to add your voice to the public comments. Do it! Humanity's future on the moon, Mars, and beyond depends upon it. Last weekend, the crew of Inspiration4 enjoyed their time in Earth orbit, eating cold pizza and making the most out of the new cupola window. Also showing off the view for the rest of us Earth dwellers, but it didn't take long for their spaceship to become infested with baby xenomorphs. Not to worry, they're domesticated. Houston, we have a problem. The first ever civilian crew encountered a malfunctioning space turlet. 
but work through the issues with Hawthorne Mission Control. Upgrades are in the works. We gotta find a way using nothing but this to reinforce this so the waste material avoids the spinning turbine. You mean so it doesn't hit the fan? For the next spacecation mission, Elon also says he wants to include a little heat plate for the crew, as well as some Starlink Wi-Fi. That way, space balls can be streamed instead of pre-downloaded. The Resilience capsule re-entered the atmosphere on Saturday, deployed shoots bra, before splashing down in the Atlantic. That is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. They were then fished out of the water by the SpaceX recovery fleet, and shortly after, the four crew members egressed their sardine can and quickly made the change from no legs to sea legs. The mission so far managed to raise more than 60 million before Elon pledged another 50 himself. He's such a good dude. All of you who donated are. You're breathtaking. So I'd say it was a great success, but so would SpaceX, who is now receiving an insane amount of requests from private customers to write on future Dragon and Starship missions. The only thing that was missing was a congratulations from Joe Biden. Eh, he's still sleeping, wrote Musk. But that's not true. He's a busy man. Busy fucking things up. Come on, man. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. Prototypes for the new uniforms of the United States Space Force were revealed this week during the Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference. These are the dress uniforms the Guardians are wearing, used for ceremonial events and other special circumstances. Introduced here by the Chief of Space Operations, General John Raymond, he pointed out the color scheme of dark blue jackets with gray pants and how the six buttons represent the six branches of the armed forces. But he also said they're making some tweets after feedback before putting it through wear testing and the final rollout phase. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to those of you supporting these episodes through Patreon or YouTube's join feature. Have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.